Hey, Dr. Romano, it's always good to see you. Looks like you've got another problem on the board for us to take a look at. Yes, I do. I'd like to go over a question with you involving aromaticity. Let's have a look. Okay. Before I start, I just want to refresh your memory on a molecule called pyridine. Notice that pyridine has six pi electrons. And when you count, in order to get six pi electrons, we count every double bond as two. So we have two, two, and two. You don't count the ones on the outside. And if you look at Y, I put them in red. These dots on the outside are in a different plane called the sigma plane, and they're not part of the p orbital system. Apply that to this problem. Consider aza 18 aniline, and I want to find the end value. Now, in order to find the end value, what we're going to do is to see how many pi electrons we have to see how we can apply Huckel's rule. So let's start here, I put it in red. Don't count the ones on the outside. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Four n plus two rule, we set it equal to 18. I get four n, after you subtract two is 16, and we get n is four. Therefore, it's a Huckel number, 18, and we note that this aniline is aromatic. And I hope that gives you a really good understanding of how to do these problems. That's a great problem, Dr. Romano. I'm going to put it in my arsenal. Do you think I'll get the 30 now if I figure that one out? You will not get the 30, but you'll be on the way. Good day to you. Geez, Dr. Romano, I've been thinking 30. That's what I thought I'm going to get. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong. Good day to you, sir.